Alrighty, so we are doing a review of an article, and for boomer tech reasons, I'm not going to go into why we're going to have to use another browser, because that annoys me, but it's working now. So, uh, this is Reddit R Leaf Blowers, the subreddit I made to talk about the scourge of leaf blowers, and it uh, looks like a person who's definitely not my sock puppet account has posted about Dario Rodriguez with DAR Landscaping, Leaf Blower Clown of the Week. Uh, and it links us to an article uh, from Fox 5 DC. And we're going to look at that in another browser because things don't work, but that's fine. Another brain dead uh, mow and blow Titan of Industry, TM, trademarked, that cannot fathom doing their job without the most polluting, loudest option available. This is the market telling DAR and other Titans of Industry to fucking cool it on the leaf blowing. Do it less. No one gives a shit if you have to blow a little bit less. Time has passed, indeed. So let's take a look at the, uh, look at the, I'm, I'm signed in. And I said, thanks, I'll probably do a video on this soon. 24 days, that was 24 days of me responding to something, an email. This is very quick for me. So let's switch to the other browser that can record the sound. And Reddit doesn't work on, uh, it's fine, let's just play it. And we have new technology that allows me to talk and I can listen, doesn't matter. This works now, let's do it. Following in California and DC's footsteps looking to ban gas powered leaf blowers. Residents, they're divided. Katie Barlow has been talking. So, Montgomery County, by the way, I actually live in Montgomery County, but this is not my Montgomery County, unfortunately. This is uh, Montgomery County, Maryland, that's near DC. DC itself. Uh, has actually banned some degree of gas blowing. DC uh, or Montgomery County is very much next to it or it's close to it or something. It's in Maryland. Anyways, let's go. Talking to them today. So, Katie, what are you hearing about this division? Gas powered leaf blowers are loud, harmful to the environment, and can cause harmful health. Yeah, effects, that's right. From hearing loss to mental illness. That's according to yeah, a new it makes you insane. Forward by Montgomery County Council Chairman Gabe Albernaz on behalf of County Executive Mark Elrich. This new proposal, a bill, would ban the sale of gas powered leaf blowers or vac. Okay, so that's the problem. Is is already ban the sale. So, so basically, you 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 don't get to sell it at Target. At, well, I don't know if Target has leaf blowers, but it's definitely like uh, Home Depot would have leaf blowers. Okay, but you can go to the county over. It's a mild inconvenience. So this is my problem with a lot of these bans is, oh, you can't buy it here, but you can use it. So you just, or, especially with internet ordering now that's been around for 20 years, it doesn't really make a huge dent. Right, but let's see what they have to say. It would also create a program for residents to hand over their gas-powered blowers for cash to put toward purchasing an electric or battery-powered version. Okay, so again, Right Bozo, who's over there, Right Bozo has a has a Red Toro plug-in uh, machine, and that's the one that makes the awful whistling that you can hear from here, even if these things are plugged in. So maybe, you know, it doesn't, doesn't go as far, but it still is well beyond annoying. And that's the other thing I don't like about a lot of these uh, leaf blower bands is they're like, oh, the electric ones are okay. No, they're not. Far left bozo that's near the mailbox in the cul-de-sac here. We've gone to him before. We've done videos. I, I don't even know where, but we've done videos where you can hear it five doors down. You, I've walked to the end of the street. You can steer, still hear far left bozo five houses down, and then you go 20 houses down or whatever. You can still hear it, okay? So I don't like this normalization of, oh, I, I guess the electric blowers are like this much, uh, this much better, so it's okay. No, no, no. Gas is here. Electric is here. This is where we need to be, okay? So I do not like these bands that basically just promote electric blowers. It's insanity. And then, oh, look at this great concession. Gas blowers, I don't even know if they're banning them because they're saying you can't sell it. And this is a proposal. And so, you know, it'll go nowhere anyways. But you can't sell it. And there's a program to trade it in. Do you have to? Is it, is it a ban? And, okay, fine. We'll sweeten the deal that it's a ban, but we, we uh, give you money if you can hand it in, right? Is that what it is? Because I'm just hearing there's a program. 
Residents in towns like mm. Chevy Chase and Somerset, where they've already banned gas-powered blowers, cheer the proposal. They say it's a smart... But you could hear the elect... This is a gas blower here. But the, the, the clip before with the green thing, that one was a gas one. Or that one was an electric one. A cordless one, I think. You could still hear it. You, it still is way too annoying. And if you got right bozo who's massaging every blade of grass, well, it still is annoying, right? It, it doesn't cut to the core that this is all noise and for very little gain. Again, you have a dead tree. Again, I'm not insisting you take it out with a toothbrush. But even that you could schedule on a loud day or something. But these, it's just this casual use of, oh, there's a leaf there. Brrr. Why? Stop it, you know? None of this is necessary. If it's so important, use a broom, use a rake. Those are relatively quiet. Or a push broom. The people who took away the jacuzzi, get back a couple of videos, they used a push broom. I didn't even have to tell them. And it looks just fine. Step in the current oh, what climate is this? emergency, but small business owners like landscape. Oh, we got to put that in there. Oh, the climate emergency. You know what? I'll believe in this bullshit as long as you ban leaf blowers. Oh, yeah, th this is the number one cause of climate change, leaf blowers, but the electric ones, too. So you got to ban them, too. You don't want to destroy the planet, do you now? Okay. Neighbors aren't so sure. Uh, I've been helping my dad since I was a kid at 15, uh, so, you know, I got into the family business quite early. It takes a lot more time, and um, you're probably going to, you know, run past one battery. That looks like a commercial, yeah, a they're, one. yeah, they're so using those, yeah. 30 minutes of charge. So if the law passes, it'll take six months to take effect. It won't be right away, so residents will have time to adjust what they use for landscaping. So I suspect that it's a ban on the sale of it. Did I miss that, that it's also the use of it? But again, it doesn't matter because whatever, even if it's a strict ban on gas for residential, commercial, okay, but these things are not any better. Okay, these things are still too loud. Back to you. So, Katie, is it safe to assume that, that is a battery-powered leaf blower that you're holding? Yes, it is. It is a battery-powered leaf blower, and I'll tell you, we just heard uh, a gas-powered one around the block from here. You could hear it more than a block away. I'm going to play this. I'm going to do this one right now on a tie setting. No, no. It's not that loud. It's certainly not as loud as the one that uh, again, what's the need for any of this? What's the need for this? It's, it, and a, a broom and a rake are even more quiet. And again, maybe this one, this one doesn't sound that horrible, but I'm not right next to it, right? It's, it's also, it, it's, a lot of this stuff is, oh, decibels. Well, decibels don't matter. Y you know, yesterday or two days ago, there was a pretty heavy rain here, and I measured that it, it raised the decibels inside the house, about 10, 15 decibels. I could fall asleep to that. I don't even know if Wright Bozo's, um, you know, electric blower would register as anything significantly higher than the, the normal variation in, in the background noise. And yet it's driving me insane. It's not decibels. That's an easy thing to measure, but it doesn't get to the more uh, other variables of sound. Like it's a high-pitched whistle and you want to bash your head against the wall. You know, that sort of measurement, you know. So that's the issue, is it's still a loud, whirring whistle. Well, but this one doesn't sound too much like a whistle, but you know what I mean. Let's go. Taking up the noise around the block, so there is a difference. Yeah, definitely. Gas-powered leaf blowers, the decibels are way louder than... No, it's not just decibels. Like a, just a, a, a really loud vacuum or a blender, so to speak. So yeah, because, you know, definitely. absolutely, uh, uh, you should have loud vacuums outside. One. All right, uh, that is Katie <laughs> Barlow. Blow Jesse away. <laughs> Katie, I see a couple of spots behind you. Take care of the community. And I don't like the banter. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, care yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you. I'm on it. <laughs> What right, is she doing? What a clown. Yeah, get, that's the other clown of the week. B band? Well, right now, wow, 90% of you say no. You want to hold on to your gas powered leaf blowers if you own them. I'm absolutely certain the leaf blower community decided to uh, to go into this poll and all this. And, and that's it. It's, it's just, is it really this much to ask for? You know, just there's plenty of other quieter things to do, and that's it. Ugh. Them. But if you want to go ahead and cast your vote, you can do so by scanning the QR code that you see there on your screen on the top right corner, or you can head over to our website, fox5dc.com. What about the weed whacker? 
That thing isn't a good one. Yeah, MGMT, I, I think. As as the, the, and if it hits your leg, the leaf blower. Oh, game no. over. Yeah. Oof, Especially if it has a thing. string on it. Yeah. Um, I just had a as opposed to the ones that don't? Yeah, I don't like the banter they do. These people are dumb. Now, states like California, are we, is there anything in the article that wasn't covered here? Maybe we'll tell us exactly. Ugh, feet. Ugh. Ah! What's going on? Okay, that's an ad, so... Uh, right, submit a new proposal that would ban... The, okay, so it does say ban the sale. Cost-effective alternative equipment available as electric. Again, why are we normalizing this? Why aren't we just saying gas is bad, but you know what? Let's just let's rip off that Band-Aid. We're big boys here. We're big girls here, especially since we're not doing a lot of the gardening ourselves. We are getting bigger. So, you know, we could just do brooms and rakes, push brooms, normal brooms, rakes, plastic big rakes. It's all good, you know? Uh, phase out, okay. Now, again, they're not telling us, um, they're not telling us, uh, you know, that because they're implying there's a ban on the usage of them, but I'm not seeing it here. It's ban the sale. All right. We consider this low-hanging fruit. Uh, banning leaf blowers is not only having to do with gas, but also this uh, sound, which is deafening. Well, but you're now encouraging, uh, you know, uh, you're now encouraging electric ones, Barton Rubenstein, okay? Now, I don't know if Barton Rubenstein is, but the city councilor guy is, okay? Are you a landscaper in Montgomery County? Earn up to 200 in rebates on electric leaf blowers, up to two re rebates per address or business with the exchange of gas. Okay, so... Again, what's the ban here, though? Because they're banning the sale of, not the use of. So this county, you can't, a business cannot sell this in the same way you can't sell cocaine or something. Thanks, Obama, or whomever. And, um, but where's the ban of the usage of it? If it's not even that, then it's even more worthless than, than it already is. Bill 1822 calls for a program for residents to hand over or to put okay so so there is a ban on using it but again it's it they don't spell it out like even the possession of an old gas blower is like some crime now i just don't want them turned on i don't you know okay residents of towns like chevy chase and somerset where they've already banned gas powered leaf blowers uh where gas powered blowers are excited about the proposal they're excited some argue it's the natural progression after dc banned gas blower uh in january local landscapers say a bill like this would hurt small businesses really because if i run a small business from my home and i don't have to listen to this yeah it's really going to hurt me no of course not and again, I never get it with these people. Then, then offer the same service and say, look, we can't like get every grass clipping off of your lawn, which we shouldn't be doing anyways. Again, they, they blow the leaf blowers through the lawns. That's insane. Okay. So we can't provide, we might not be able to provide 100% because if we're using brooms and rakes, you get two, three, five, ten percent of the, the leaves still remaining. So it'll look exactly the same as it would the day after. Not a, not a big deal. If you want that full clean look, we'll spend an extra ten dollars because we have to... Okay, why can't people do this? If you have this OCD fetish for a perfectly clear driveway because, ooh, the driveway has to look like a kitchen table, ooh. No, it doesn't. But if you want it, it's an extra ten bucks. What's wrong with this? And why are landscapers resisting this? They can charge more money, potentially. I, I, I don't understand this. They could say, okay, we, you pay us 40 bucks. We can do that. It's not going to be 100% as you're expecting. It's, it's, it's going to be an extra 10 bucks. Why, why don't landscapers jump on this? They could make a little more money this way. It's so stupid to me. So Dario Rodriguez, the clown of the week, uh, now that fall is here and leaves are starting to blow into the yards, it's, it's probably going to take twice the amount, if not three times the amount of time. This is bullshit. This is so much bullshit. Like, I've done yard work, okay? You, you, you run the mower over it. You still have to do, right? Uh, the rakes are so fast, you know? The blowers, because the way people use them, um, I think even if people use them as fast as possible, I don't think they hold a candle to the rake. Okay, in a in a lawn they don't. Okay, I've used them before, when I had much bigger lawns than this too. 
If the bill passes, violators would face a $500 fine. Again, this is just gas, so the electric ones are annoying too. Okay, thousand bucks more feet. Um, you know. Oh, is that the end of the article? Is there autism? <laughs> Using Tylenol while pregnant may cause autism. Join the lawsuit. Oh, that's an ad. Okay. Um, all adults on. Okay, is there a comment section? Because I really a lot of the news articles don't have comments anymore. A uh, teenager accused of raping two women at L.A. Fitness arrested. Okay. Um, security guard who spotted accused armed rapist at Safeway speaks out. Okay. Spotsylvania mother. There's a Spotsylvania. Okay. There's a lot of ads here. Where's the comment section? Is there a comment section? Yeah, they, they don't have a comment section, I don't think. Well, that's basically it. It's the usual nonsense where all of these bands are really just normalizing electric leaf blowers, which are, you know, in many ways just as annoying and obnoxious, maybe a tiny bit less, but it's just not good enough. It's not good enough, kids. It's just not good enough. So that's basically it. Uh, we'll post this, and uh, that's it.